I feel like, or nothing like that. The thing with freaks is they're fun. They're judgment free. They're exciting. Okay. That's what we need. Yo, what's going on, NBA family? So, finna do another little stream on um, a couple social content. Um, gonna go over everything, over a little shit that I seen that I wanna talk about. So, that's what we finna get in today. Um, it ain't no stream. I'm just gonna be uploaded soon. I'm gonna be doing streams, doing live, live streams, so I can get people comment and that shit like that. But for now, we just gonna go over some shit that I've been seeing on the internet. So let's see why niggas cheat. <laughs> we don't want to come in the house and feel uptight. If your man is pulling up in the driveway and he's sitting in that driveway for minutes or before he walk in, he hated her. And it's because you're not giving him the entertainment that he needs. You're boring. And your hair is stupid. Well, I really attitude and your hard. attitude is Peter bad. Uh, that, was, that was just something simple. Something I want to look over. Hold on. Father and... Father... And grandmother died on the same day. Raised by a single mom along with multiple siblings. Doubt if I made it in the NFL. Suffered a two season in the injuries, one MVP twice. I, do, I agree with that, man. He don't deserve the hate. He definitely don't deserve the hate. Lamar Jackson, that boy. Little man. <laughs> man, what? I don't know what the fuck we looking at, y'all. The game slip and fail. So I gotta pay twenty five for pre for preschool. I'm dissing that bitch the whole school, yo. Queen keep out to diss her alleged baby daddy for the entire school year because she had to pay 25 preschool. It's a lot of money. What preschool your son going to, man? It's a lot of fucking money. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a lot of goddamn money. Let's go to Instagram, y'all. That's a lot of money, though, for real. Hey, listen. Another thing. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. NBA, baby. Podcast, man, bro. We doing the show tomorrow. Stay tuned. Who's up with fifth man? Fifth and Bane been going out of this see with this uh Alright, they've been going at it because of um let me go ahead. And 50, hold on, 50 Cent and Fredo Bane responded to Hurricane Chris. 50 alright, so this was 50 Cent said, y'all. Yeah. Hurricane on um, flex, boy, your shit is whack. The fuck you think you, Fredo Bang? Your shit gets no play in my ride. He ain't book no Louisiana artists, Louisiana legends. Who the fuck I am then? Hurricane. He ain't book no Louisiana artists, Louisiana legends. Who the fuck I am then? Hurricane. All right, Hurricane Chris, he mad because he didn't get booked for Chris on um, for um, 50 Cent. Um, little shit he had at New, New, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. He mad because he invited some comedians and a lot of people is a big get together for because 50 bought a lot of land in New Orleans. So Hurricane Chris mad that he didn't get the invite. He felt he didn't get he he felt like he didn't invite no legendary artist from Louisiana, which he by the Fredo Bang, Fredo Bang from Louisiana. So you can't use that card no more, Chris. You gotta just shut it up, boy. I'll be with you if he if he didn't invite nobody, but he invited Fredo. Hip hop. You throw a motherfucking concert in Louisiana and don't book no Louisiana legends and put no bankroll in no Louisiana legends pocket, but you pay the police a half a million dollars. 
What type of bitch ass shit is that? Nigga, you ain't fucking with my city, nigga. You taking advantage of my city, nigga, cause shit cheap and, and, and shit costs way less than it costs where you from. And y'all stupid, slow motherfucker, so crazy that y'all gonna let this nigga come down here and die, not show no love to Louisiana. This nigga ain't book no Louisiana artist. This nigga ain't book Big Papa. This nigga ain't book Be Will. This nigga ain't book Hurricane. This and get no no All boosies right, or nothing, no webbies. Like, nigga did. That's a Louisiana legend, Lil Wayne. Why ain't say Wayne? Wayne from Louisiana. Hey, baby, baby. Marlon Wayne and DJ Vlad clash at the comedian. 400K interview request is Sparks View. Marlon Wayne found someone with <laughs> 200 followers to agree with him. Laugh out loud. Nobody on earth is paying more than 40k for an interview. When he gets 100 to 300 views on the platform, he interviews on. This guy is ready. Delusional. Is Marlon delusional for wanting 40k for an interview? I don't think so. That's Marlon. He a Wayne's brother. He a Wayne. He a Wayne's brother, y'all. So I think he deserved that shit for real, for real. I don't work whatever I say. People be people like you don't um don't make or break me, champ. I'm self made. I go where I choose. I don't like your tactics. I've been a gentleman. I don't express my grievance with other people. You trying to turn our black you trying to turn other black people in my field on me, asking them about my money. That is true though. Vlad, you tripping. You being a you being you acting white. You as white, but you acting white. Coco Jones. What Coco Jones posting on here? This shit we do every day, y'all. We scroll. We be having our opinion. I'm giving my opinion. Coco. Coco, wow. Because Coco, the best R&B um, singer out right now. Youngest. She doing the thing out here, y'all. I'm sorry. Hey y'all, come with me broom shopping. I'm tired of these dusties, so at this point, I need the right equipment. And I know they're gonna have it up in here. Just as soon as I find it. Oh, sir, not too much on me. <laughs> okay, well, uh uh. Um, y'all, she trying to tell us she gonna be in the Princess and the Frog. I ain't gonna lie, that'll be lit. Coco on the Princess and the Frog. Coco is just too, too damn fine. The hand behind the yellow one sent me. Hot girl shit. Yeah, I guess Coco taking over, man. Alright, let's get up Coco shit. Hey, y'all. Like waiting rooms in hell, but I'm not gonna cry. No way to explain. 
Hi British Vogue, I'm Charlie XCX and this is what's in my bag. Wayne just starting to get his just due as a lyricist. Like yeah, when people have them all time conversations. I, yeah, I, yeah. See, bro, me, even, and I feel like I got really one should. conversation when you bring Wayne yeah, up. Wayne the goat. Mm -hmm. I think Wayne the greatest rapper of all time. I think, yeah, no. I've been with him. That's my dude. I saw uh, the whole he, process he of him. Of I saw the, the times where, we, where he couldn't curse and we were stopping him from saying certain things. Like, bro, you can't say that. Just like, again, I'm, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, sound good. But Love the way you put it on. You my equal, you my po- Up by 50 going into half, so... Central on their way. Cash City might be on their way too. Sometimes we won't know what God is willing to do for us until we're in a situation where only God can do it for us. God won't walk you to. Y'all hear that? What am I he won't walk you through it. Like I was earlier, God is the only one. We can have a bad situation become a beautiful situation without ever changing the situation. The only thing, listen, the, 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 the stone. Yeah, man, be preaching, man. Who produced the best town in America? South Florida. South Florida. Point blank, period. No if and buts about it. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, I need you to clear the air. You know that. Who South Florida. South Florida. Point blank, period. <laughs> that I will never retire! <laughs> I will only re never retire this bitch. Go to TikTok, y'all.
Look, what I do? Yeah, I be. We get future number two. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Everybody from Atlanta I spoke to, they all tell me, dog, ain't no Atlanta list where future's not number one if Outcast isn't above him. If only Outcast as a group, not Andre, people disagreed with the, this list. And these are Atlanta niggas. They said, future gotta be number one. Just facts. He's just the greatest. He's gotta be number one unless you put Outcast the group. Because Andre 3000 as a solo artist can't fuck with Future. Yeah, he could rap, but Future is Future. But if you put Outkast, I got, now you got it. I got Future. Now you got it. Outkast could be number one. I but if you separating one. them, no, no, can't no, put Andre no, by himself over Future. Yeah, future and I kind of understood what, what they were saying with that. Like, I, I definitely understood. Like, man, fuck all, all this, this shit what they say, man. One. The GOAT. Man, Future's just that nigga. Like, yeah, you know what they, they should have said? Why uh, Why they belong on the list? Yeah, that yeah. nigga. But That's it. I got future we don't got to mention he got 200 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. We don't got to mention that he has uh, 15 top 10s and three number ones. Fuck all that. That nigga. You get what I'm saying? So I told him Brussels sprouts taste like candy. But they... Imagine being on an overnight flight to Hong Kong. The cabin is dark and most of the passengers are sleeping. Suddenly the plane starts making some strange maneuvers. It turns 90 degrees and flies on its side. I'm different! Dog! Smack! Free! What's up, Mom? What's up, Dad? The outfit that I wore on tour. But you and Westbrook got together. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. I don't know. There's only one guy that- But you and- I that I wore on tour every night. My last tour. So oh. eventually I framed this up and hang- He wore it every night? Ooh, I know that smelled like ass. I don't wanna see it online cause I'm gonna get beaten. Vegeta steps in to fight Granola. The- One more time to say something to me fucked up. And I'ma reach over this table and I'ma mm. knock your fucking head you off. I you should do it right motherfucking now. I sure can. Cause we need to go ahead and get I this shit the fuck over can. with. We need to get I this sure fuck can. Cause I'ma beat your motherfucking ass. I'ma beat your ass, motherfucking like ass, ho. Y'all better check this bitch. I'm not the one to Y'all better check this bitch. I'm not the one. I'm me. letting you know. I'ma beat Dude, your ass. I'ma let y'all let this bitch walk your ass. Come on, come on, sit down. Make sure you do it after this shit over. I'ma dog walk your ass. Make sure you do it after this is over, bitch. Okay. Make sure. Have a seat. You better. Yes, so you know. You better. And I'm going to tell him to kick your motherfucking face Tokyo. off you your motherfucking head, ho. Me. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to see, bitch. Put your shoe down. This is why. This is Does why. Hold tight or just literally make no. sure our cameras are angled. I don't okay? give a fuck what your cameras is. You need to check What's these up, bitches. What's up, Tokyo, man? Hold on. That coat kick there. Where the coat been? <clears throat> One more time to say something to me fucked up. And I'm gonna reach over this table and I'm gonna knock your fucking head off. I say you off. should do it right, motherfucking now. I sure can. We need to go ahead and. So we just learned a terrifying secret about the aliens in A Quiet Place Day One. Hello. One of the biggest mysteries Hello. about the creep. Hey, run your pockets, bro. And letting it go. Yeah, because you've been holding it the whole interview. Oh. So we just learned a terrifying secret about the aliens in A Quiet Place Day One. One of the biggest mysteries about the creatures, also known as Death Angels, is how they've managed to survive on Earth since arriving. Hey, run your pockets, bro. Run your pockets. Give me your money. I'm gonna need your money and your chain. Nigga, do you know where I'm from? Yo, I don't care where you from, bro. Give me your money and your chain. I'm from Dunsledorf. What are you talking about? We don't play like that. For real. Bro, don't nobody know that Harry Potter sound in the hood, bro? Listen, y'all, I'm trying, I'm really trying to give you a chance, bro. A chance? Nigga, I'm giving you a chance, bro. For real, I'm not the one to play with, my nigga. I'm yeah, what's up? Nigga, did you put a laser sight on a dumbbell? What's up, nigga? I sound from Dumbledore. Now, what's up? I just told you. Though. Letting it go? Yeah, because you've been holding it the whole interview. Okay. I've been watching you. You asked me the question. I did, but I mean, I'm, still, I'm getting you. You should have never asked the question. I love you. If you didn't want to see. I love you, I love you, brother. I love you. I love you. How hard it's you, been to get through. I love you. I love you, black man. Okay, do you not cry? Absolutely. You might Absolutely. not bring it to the radio. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. But this is what being grown is. Thank you, brother. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I need one. My makeup going mess up. I didn't hear me. My consider today. See? Hear me. Black men cry. When divorces happen, women aren't the only one that are devastated. When a miscarriage happens, mm. women are not the only one that you should be checking on. Mm. When you can't put food on the table because your career goes up and then it goes down. Stop calling, skipping over the man, and just checking on the woman. This is real shit out here. I'm going to wipe my own tears. Messing up my makeup, Tyrese. I love you, sis. When you do things from the heart, it affects hearts. Mm. That's what beautiful pain is. Mm -hmm. Y'all might outsell me the first week. I made a fucking classic. Some of the most legendary movies in the world didn't do well in the box office. Baby Boy bombed. Do your research. Is it a classic? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Is Baby Boy a classic? Hell yeah. People didn't even know who the fuck I was yeah. as an actor yeah, when that movie came out. Hey, baby Boy, the only reason BET, <laughs> BET still got a hey. network going. Praise God. <laughs> if the movie bombed in the box office, why is it the only movie that they still playing on BET hey, every day? Don't confuse data and numbers and popularity with the reality of what affects hearts. I'm a grown ass man. And I'm gonna tell y'all something about 1992, as well as the mass singer when I did that show. Praise God for Nick Cannon, shout out to him. I was really a mass okay, singer. No. Mm. A lot of people laugh mm. at Tyree because he had an emotional, he just got a, because he, he, he had an emotional camera. You just gotta chill with the crying and shit, man. Like, come on, man. We literally fuck with you, Tyrese. These videos for no reason. They just, they wanna show their outfit off. They wanna show their ass off type shit. Are there any engineers still alive in the universe? You know, we wonder why we fucked up. We be wondering, like, damn, why I'm in the hospital? Damn, why my stomach hurt? Damn, why I got a boo-boo? Because you keep eating stupid shit. What is it? That's it. Ain't nothing, it ain't even that deep. It's not even deep. You keep eating stupid shit. Who the fuck told y'all that y'all was supposed to eat this old ass? This, this, this shit is molded. Season it the fuck up. Bring some butter down. <laughs> what you gonna do now, you little bitch? What you gonna do? Oh, no. Oh. Why didn't the elder predator? There might be one who is dead. Hey, she said. What are the eight ranks of the? Here we go. But did y'all see this, bro? This man knocked the lady out. What a skateboard. <laughs> you the mills, man. We have to skate. Ah, people, man. Ah, people. Okay. Seattle Storm. See what she like out there. A lot of these little yachts no longer follow. Oh, Tad this and shit like that. What is this? Oh, a picture they would never promote or support. Oh, most definitely, but I'm gonna support it. And I'm gonna retweet it. Repost it, I mean. Fuck y'all talking about. Y'all talking about big bang Latina man. Yeah. What's this man? I need to put me in Pollyanna day. Shaq snapped on this man. I don't want to hear no Shaq rock. 
Man, I want to see Fool. Okay, y'all. Thanks for y'all for joining me today, man. I just had to go through a little bit of, a little bit of scrolling through social media. We'll be back tomorrow with a ep whole episode with me and um, Easy E. Check me and bro out. Feel me, lock in and subscribe. <laughs>